Hi everybody, I'm back. Yes, Facebook, take that. Um, going to be doing many more videos in the future, guys and girls. Thanks for your support and your comments and thumbs up on my last video. The rant of the century from my side. But uh, all that said and done, thank you to Joe from Space Detective 1. You're a true sport and gentleman, Joe. Thank you for pointing your subscribers to my channel and a huge shout out to all of you who've just joined me as new subscribers welcome on board i hope you find this channel interesting and uh, the anomalies fascinating this is joe's channel yeah space detective one also runs odd alien tv so do check out uh, his channel fascinating anomalies as well do you know what I think happened? If you check this video over here that I did a couple of days ago, Conclusive Evidence, Ancient Civilization on Mars with Links to Earth. See that thumbs down? I think uh, somebody went and reported all my videos on Facebook. It happened almost immediately after this video, guys. So I think I struck a nerve with this one. This is where uh, I feature this anomaly that was in ancient aliens in uh, they found this in the egyptian desert and then i found a couple of those on mars as well and i think somebody got really uncomfortable with me uh, uncovering this huge secret so let's get cracking on osiris rex spots more of the usual suspects on bennu some more geometry and symmetry in these objects guys and girls so the first photograph we're looking at is this one over here smooth boulders they call it smooth boulders in the equatorial region check out this what looks like an eroded megalithic block with that little triangle carved into it this is about a meter long and uh, also we have a perfectly symmetrical triangle it's also about a meter long so let's have a look at some others like this that i've discovered on mars this one over here is from my blog and video return to protonilus on mars and there's one very similar this one's six meters long by about four meters wide and it's also got what looks like a little hole carved into it over there this one's also on mars giant standing megalith found on mars 10 meters tall and i'd say about two three meters wide and this one's also got a little triangular feature cut into it check that out looks almost like an eye and uh yeah check out the resemblance guys is this just a natural boulder that somehow landed on the asteroid or could we be looking at some uh, destruction of structures on this uh, strange looking asteroid almost looks like a spinning top so let's have a look at some more triangular objects these are on Mars as well this is from mysterious disk and triangular object found in Hellespontus Montes do check out that video and blog of mine as well very small little triangle three meters per side and it's standing on this large structure which is uh, sticking over the edge of this dune check that out guys that looks like a little pyramid or maybe it's a little craft who knows a little miniature TR3B oops I'll be banned for saying that Okay, the next one, another triangle of here. Part 3, the disks and ruins of Pyramus Fosse on Mars. And uh, this triangle also on top of a larger structure, 8 meters per side. So yeah, what the chances of that happening in nature. And then the second photograph we're checking out. NASA calls it sharp edged boulder. And we're checking out this anomaly over here, which is about three meters long. It's this quarter 
of a circular object that I speculate is unnatural. You get the straight edge coming through there, nice rounded arc to it. And if this piece hadn't broken off, that would have been a 90 degree angle right there. And check out the hole that's been carved into it. Some others on Mars. This one's about 20 meters long on this straight side. And uh, it consists of two quarters. Check that out. Also has strange objects on it. This one's got a hole in it there. And these uh, got these smaller protrusions or knobs on them. Also straight edges, right angle, nice arc to it. Maybe this is taken at an angle. It does look like it if you look at the thickness of this block. And uh, yes, I have brightened this object up and uh, that line continues along there. So it's got a constant width to it and uh, it is definitely rounded as well. This area that's dark in the background here, when I brightened it up, showed a definite arc to this object over there. And then this one, another quarter disc, radius of 12 meters, from our blog post and video called Part 2, The Discs and Ruins of Pyramus Fossae on Mars. I'm still waiting for NASA to publish a photograph of this huge structure that we found on Mars. My friend uh, Mars Form Barnsey pointed this one out. Do check out his Mars Anomalies channel as well. Got some fascinating um, Martian art for us to check out. This structure is about 50 meters long and about 22 meters wide. And this is an animation I put together showing the what looks like a huge slab that covers this little structure. Look at that. It looks like a little rounded roof. And then in the center we've got that sort of dome or spherical object. Very similar to many others on Mars. So with that said, ladies and gents, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and uh, I'll be checking into Osiris Rex and Bennu Asteroid from time to time. Hopefully some more strange objects reveal themselves. And uh, also do check out my previous videos featuring more anomalies and artifacts on Bennu Asteroid. As you can see, I've removed uh, my Facebook and Twitter icons from this page. And you can find all this information over at my blog. So for those of you that haven't seen my blog yet, this is it right here. I'll include a link to it below. And you'll find all the images that I feature in my videos in this blog. The index is down here on the right. Also has a search functionality to find what you're looking for a little quicker. And uh, also when you click on the images, you'll find the image I cropped from the JP2 files in one to one scale. So if you use the pixel resolution they indicate for each photograph you can check out the size for yourselves so thanks again joe and all my subscribers and friends and all those of you that have come over from joe's channel and subscribed to this channel much appreciated i'll see you all soon in the next video bye bye for now